Hey, what is going on, guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku, back with another video. And um, today, you know, I want to talk about Fluey Cluey. Um, and I don't want to really talk about necessarily how the new series ended, because um, it ended uh, yesterday uh, on Toonami. But I want to, I want to, like, talk about the ending of the franchise in general, because for anybody who doesn't know, Jason DeMarco said flat out that this was the last Fluey Cluey, like, season that they're going to do, um, unless he decides to change his mind, I don't know, uh, but if this is the last, like, if this is the last Fooey Cooey, then I really feel that there was a lot that... Adult Swim, Toonami, and the Japanese company that produced it uh, really left things on the table, uh, so to speak. Um, so when this came back in 2018 after, like, I think it was like 2003 when the original series came out, um, a lot of people were clamoring for this, you know. And uh, as well as I was, I was like, was like, ooh, what are they going to be able to add to the original series? What are they going to be able to add to it? And while we did get some, you know, series, we got Progressive, which didn't have the OG characters in it. And uh, then we had Alternative, didn't have the OG characters. In it. it was a good series, but didn't really have what we were looking for in it. You know what I'm saying? And then we get to these new series... And uh, once again, you know, still, uh, still nothing. We still don't have what you know uh, we wanted. Now, granted, we did have Heidi Ko. Heidi Ko was in pretty much all of them except for this last one uh, that they did. Um, but that's not what we're really looking for. What we were really looking for, uh, no, we were really looking for this. We were really looking for the OG characters. And, uh, you know, we were looking for, you know, those OG, like, Fluey Cluey characters. Um, you know, Natiko, Malaze, uh, we were really looking for Nanota, Midiko, and, uh, Eri. You know, we were really looking for those OG, you know, Fluey Cluey characters besides Hariko. Now, Hariko obviously came back, which was great. Don't get me wrong. But we were looking for the characters, um, you know, from the original Fluey. You know, from the original Fluey Cluey. And they never came back. The, you know, not one time did they ever come back other than Hariko. And that really always bugged me. Uh, and it bugs me even more now. You know what I'm saying? It bugs me even more that they never once came back. Not once did they try to bring them back. You know what I'm saying? Um, and now apparently we're never going to get them back. Um, and I just, I just don't understand it. I don't understand why Adult Swim could not bring back these beloved iconic characters. Uh and talk about a story about them being grown up. You know, and before people say they couldn't do that, well, they did that in the last series. They did that with uh, the alternative main character, which she's a cool character too. You know, 10 years in the future, you know, got to see her as an adult. But at the same time, we didn't get to see a lot of the older characters uh, from the OG series. You didn't get to see Robot. You didn't get to see anyone else except for Heiko, which Heiko was cool that she returned other than the last series. But to me, I just think it's just, uh, you know, it's just an injustice that they didn't bring back the OG characters. Now, I did bring this up a couple weeks ago. Um, one of the Japanese producers who's active on social media. Oh. oh, yeah, this, yeah. This character came back, which is cool. She came back, she was grown up, and uh, it is what it is. But I just don't understand why she got to come back before the OG characters came back and get to grow up uh, like she did. Um, 
that's just my issue with this whole thing. Um, you know, not one time they couldn't think of making a series about uh, a sequel about the actual original main characters. You know, not once. You know, um, now I did get a like from, I guess, the producer of in Japan of the, the series. She liked this tweet uh, that I posted a couple weeks ago. Um, she didn't really respond. She just liked it. But, um, you know. To me, I just feel like there was just so many things left on the table that they did not explore. Uh, especially, again, with the OG characters, there was so much more they could have done. And they decided not to do it. And, you know, that's just the thing that mind boggles me about the entire process, so to speak. You know, Fully Cluey, you know, obviously it's not really necessarily a show that, that's taken that seriously. It's supposed to be a comedy type thing. You know, a lot of things broke uh, break reality on the stuff that they do visually. But there is a message to, hidden messages to all these things that they do in Fully Cluey. Um, and uh, I think it is cool that they do that type of stuff. But um, I just feel like you know, in this whole revival process um, of 2018, you know, from 2018 to now, uh, that we never once got any of these other characters besides uh, Heidiko, you know, because that's what the people, they, you know, were clamoring for when this series was in that way. All the years that they didn't, that they, they, they had this only this one season, of Fully Cooley, they had been asking for a sequel, a sequel of this, not necessarily new characters, but, uh, you know, not that there wouldn't be new characters, but all the new seasons revolved around new characters, not necessarily uh, the OG characters. Uh, and again, other than Heidiko, who else came back? Nobody. And that's the thing that just, I, I just was kind of upset about and you know who to blame for this i don't know uh you know um i don't know who to blame obviously jason demarco was an exclusive producer on this so he could have had a lot of sway on this so i kind of put more of the blame on demarco um demarco seems like he like i i've i've talked about jason demarco before um uh, I, I, he feel it feels like he just wants to do shows that he wants to do and not necessarily what the fans of Toonami want. Um, you know, a lot of these shows that he recently has put out, not saying that a lot of the shows that he does, that he has put out aren't bad per se. Um, but there's a lot of them that just were either not needed or it was just something that the fans just did not want. And uh, he just does it anyways. Um, and I, I don't know if that was the case here, uh, but I, I feel like with, with his persuasion, he could have easily gotten some of these main characters back, uh, on the series. I mean, cause he was an ex exclusive producer, so he obviously was communicating with the Japanese team on exactly what he wanted in there. And so that's something that I just just kind of annoys me knowing that you know that he had this series he was producing these sequels and not one time did it ever come up or ever occur to him hey let's bring back these these old school characters you know we got Heidi Ko back but let's bring back these other characters let's bring back the classic characters from season one that's the thing that just I never will probably understand uh, so to speak um like I said, it feels like that there was a lot of things left on the table uh, that just were never considered for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. We'll never probably get an actual answer because no one's answering to why the OG characters didn't come back uh, once. You know, 
in any of these sequels or any of these shows that they were producing for Fluey Cluey, not one time did they say, hey, you know what, let's bring back some of these classic characters, let's try to make a cameo of the, uh, one of these characters as an adult in this new, uh, you know, in one of these new series of alternative or progressive. I mean, they managed to bring back the the, the main character of alternative for the final Fooly Cluey series, so, so what was the issue with the OG characters? Why couldn't they grow up? Why couldn't we see them grow up, you know? Uh, on screen and see what they have been doing since the events of the first season. You know, uh, that's just something that I just think is just kind of disappointing. You know, I'm not upset with any of the, and to clarify, I'm not upset with any of the endings of any of the new Fooly Clueys or any of the story arc necessarily of the other Fooly Cluey seasons that came after the first season in 2018 onwards. I just feel like they left a lot at the table. They left things that they could have addressed that a lot of the fans wanted them to address, and they never did. And that's just the thing that I will always question to why they never capitalized on some of these other characters being either brought back in cameo roles or, you know, just to see where they're at, you know, where their lives are at, where are they as adults now, um, you know, or anything else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for that matter, that's just the thing that I'm going to really always ask. And I really wish Jason would have addressed that. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're, unless they change their mind and decide to new a new Fluey Cluey series. Cause as of right now, they announced that this was the last one. So, um, if we take the word at that one, then this is it. Um, so very, very unfortunate situation. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all latest contents. Thank you. And that's about it, guys. I am the SS Ultimate Goku. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, make sure, besides my YouTube channel, Twitch, SS Ultimate Goku, Instagram, the SS Ultimate Goku. And I do have a Discord link in the description. Uh, Talk about wrestling, WWE, AEW, uh, NFL football, live action TV shows, live action series, uh, anime dubs, cartoons, all that good stuff. So make sure to go out, go there. Um, and yeah, that's it. Now I'm out. Peace.